but I'll speak to you in, in my administrative capacity as um, Senior Associate Dean of Digital Learning. And so I'll return in many ways to Linda Byers' uh, overall message and theme and speak specifically to one question which the organizers suggested, which is the impact of uh, learning analytics at an institutional scale on institutions. Uh, and, uh, my, and I'll be very brief and very specifically focused on how this is happening at MIT and not in general and not in, in research. So this, uh, this slide I'll come to in a moment, but I, I want to first start with this point. What did learning analytics most give to MIT students and instructors before, say, the MOOC era? The number one thing was something we call the fifth week flag, which is an indicator, an early warning sign of failure of students. What do instructors want to get out of learning analytics at MIT? Almost nothing. <laughs> The number one thing our faculty would like is an ease of the burden of teaching so that they can go back to research, <laughs> just very candidly to you. And so easing the burden of having to deal with failing students really helped a great deal. There's another constituency at the university, though, for learning analytics, and that is students. What I'm showing here on this slide is what happened uh, post the MOOC era with the advent of the open edX platform being used in something we call the residential MITx system at MIT. It's an instance of open edX run and controlled by MIT, customized by MIT for our own students. And uh, the numbers here show the, the uptake of the system in terms of students uh, using it uh, over the course of uh, two and a half years and number of courses. Today we're at about 40 courses which seriously use the platform and this this only includes courses that have used it for problem sets and uh, a significant number of problem sets. Other courses use it for distributing handouts and videos and the like, but they're not included in this list. It's growing. It's widely growing and it's also changing, therefore, the nature and the breadth and the depth of analytics that we can provide. Does the same story still hold true? Are instructors still only interested in, say, the fifth week flag? Well. Learners are interested in one thing more and that we've been able to provide and that is new. And that's reflected by the diversity of classes that's uh, are now being provided. So we have courses that go all the way from introductory courses to graduate courses shown here. Uh, we serve not just undergraduates, but graduates with this open edX system. And I'll share with you the message from one uh, freshman course, which is on electromagnetism. This is a second semester physics course that's required as a general institute requirement uh, known as 802. Uh, it's a technology-enabled active learning class drawing many lessons from the beautiful work at CMU. Uh, also the kind of ideas of cognitive tutors. Uh, with about 800 students, uh, half of the problem sets were uh, experimenting with online components in this experiment. And in addition, there was a significant online electromagnetic simulation that was interactive that involved problems. So what did students think of this? Well, so here's a little bit of feedback in terms of uh, a response to the survey at the end of the semester. I'm an MIT student in this class, and I'm writing to give you, the instructor, some feedback. I absolutely love the new way of doing problem sets. It lets me know that I'm on the right track and helps me understand the problems better. I know I'm preaching to the choir in many ways about instant feedback, but this was this, this feedback to our faculty, it's a, another kind of analytics, feedback from the students was absolutely mind-boggling to our faculty. Um, the, the notion that students would like their problem sets back earlier than two weeks, you know, you turn it in, you grade it, and you move on. Uh, and also, I quote from the senior faculty member who ran this course and who is now um, chair of the faculty at MIT, Krishna Rajagopal, who said, I, I am astounded because the survey showed that 92% of the students liked this feature and wanted it again in another course at MIT. No course survey I've ever seen at MIT has had MIT students agree on wanting some change. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and so the physics department rolled this out for all of its freshman courses, mechanics, electromagnetism, and is now doing it for quantum mechanics and a whole a series of many other things. Perhaps and it's not a surprise that physics is leading in this area, as you heard this morning, with things like the mechanics baseline test and the inventory tests. So where are we headed from this? Well, um, maybe the idea is that 
Uh, we want to go back to instructors and try to give some useful analytics to instructors. Three weeks ago, we rolled out for the first time after an enormous institutional um, <coughs> effort, item response theory analysis of all items in all online courses uh, that we're offering using the edX platform. We take every question, every item, and we rank it, provide the instructor with rank order difficulty of questions, so they know the easy questions and the hard questions, and rank order skill of the students, so they know the uh, skilled and the kind of remedial students in the courses. What response do we get? A big huh, and why, and what can I use this for? And I think part of the, the, the challenge is addressing that gap of understanding the potential of analytics. What we are doing at MIT institutionally is we have founded a digital learning lab with digital learning scientists who are our postdocs that my office pays for in the various departments. We have about a dozen of these uh, fellows. Uh, and they belong to the departments, but we pay for their salaries. And so uh, they also are our ambassadors to a revolution that we're hoping will be seeded at MIT so that these folks will then be able to, because they know m much of the learning sciences, they'll be able to help our faculty interpret and make use of these kinds of numbers so that we may grow beyond something like the fifth week flag. Because right now, in terms of instructor analytics, uh, uh, we are really uh, giving ourselves a fifth week flag. We're not really succeeding with that in practice at MIT. Thank you.